What's up NZers and welcome back to another family reaction video, but it's just us again today. The family reaction without the family. Yep. But, you know. <laughs> Minus the family. <laughs> so today we are actually going to go back to uh, probably a series that we haven't revisited in quite, quite some time. Yes, but always requested. Yes. So we're going to be checking out some more military planes today. And we've got the top seven badass planes of the US military. Pardon? <laughs> <laughs> Language. <laughs> anyway, it looks pretty awesome, so let's check it out. Okay. Okay. Is it a jet? What even is that? Yeah. The top seven badass planes of the US military. I didn't want to say badass because it just sounds stupid in our, <laughs> in our, yeah, in our, in our accent. accent. Yeah. There is little in the world that what can match the simultaneous awesomeness and mystery of a badass plane. Wow. These that are noise. the yeah. dawn of modern innovation, yet largely pass invisibly above. Is that the Raptor? They decide battles and oh, wars, yeah. yet only a few lucky soldiers get to see them. Blah, 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 words. <laughs> what? Blah, 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 words. <laughs> funny. Seven. Lockheed Martin F-35 <laughs> Lightning II. Wow. That's sleek. Yeah. Love it or hate it, and there are plenty on both sides, the F-35 is the biggest and most important military aircraft program in the world today. First conceived in the Joint Strike Fighter program in 1992, the F-35 entered service in 2015, Though serious technical problems remain, including issues with the stealth coating and night vision cameras. The F-35 is a multi-role aircraft to replace the aging fleets of F-16s, F-A-18s, A-10s, and AV-8Bs. Unlike them, it has the advantage of stealth and advanced sensors. An impressive helmet-mounted display not only replaces the traditional heads-up display projected on the canopy to show speed, fuel, and other data, but provides infrared imagery at all angles so the pilot can see through the aircraft. The F-35 is a mobile sensor package spotting targets and handing off data to less capable aircraft around it, boosting their effectiveness. Oh, wow. The F-35 successfully conducted its first airstrikes in Iraq. Bombing ISIS tunnels is not a true test of modern aircraft, though, and whether the world's first trillion-dollar program pays off remains to be seen. Hopefully not seen. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, wow. Six. Lockheed Martin oh, yeah. F-22 Raptor. Mm. Classic. The first fifth generation fighter aircraft, the F-22 is a stealthy air superiority aircraft able to cruise at supersonic speeds with a fearsome load of advanced wow. weapons. Whoa. To many, it is still the greatest air-to-air -air combat vehicle ever devised. Did he just flash? The F-22 <laughs> yeah. was the product of the Advanced Tactical Fighter program to replace the F-15 in the 1980s and eventually entered service in 2005. It was built with two key capabilities in mind. One was super cruise, being able to travel at high speeds for extended periods, not just in short bursts like the F-15. The other was stealth. The F-22 is all but invisible to radar, so it can spot and engage enemy aircraft long before they ever realize it's there. <laughs> Rising production costs meant that numbers of F-22 were strictly limited and plans to acquire 750 F-22s were soon scaled back and only 187 operational aircraft were built. While there are some concerns of having mm -hmm. such a small elite fighter force, nobody doubts the F-22's capability. Boeing B-52 I don't think I've seen that one. Eight jet engines on it. Far out. 64 years after it entered service, the venerable B-52 is the most numerous aircraft in the U.S. Air Force bomber fleet, oh, wow. having outlasted wow. aircraft meant to replace it. Huh. Often called the buff, big, ugly, fat fellow, <laughs> that wingspan. The, version, the B-52 big was designed in the depths of the Cold War Look at those as a nuclear wings. bomber. It had the range to carry atomic warheads uh, deep into the heartland of the USSR. Wow. Originally That's intended for high altitude flight, it was modified for low Whoa. level operations when flying under the radar became essential. Far Another out. ship produced the Big Belly B 52 for conventional bombing, carrying 84 500 pound bombs internally 
and 24 750 pound bombs on wing pylons. Oh Formations of B 52s carrying wreak havoc so much. in Vietnam with mass raids. The B 52 has a unique arrangement of eight engines and four pods. All attempts to replace these with four wow. new engines have been rejected, and a forthcoming upgrade will retain the eight engine configuration. The B 52 is still going strong with no sign of giving up, and some predict it will keep flying. It needs landing gears years. on the end of yeah. the wings. That is a bizarre air if, if, aircraft. Yeah. aircraft. Airship. Airship, yeah. <laughs> Air building. <laughs> Four. McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle. I think, was this on Top Gun? Pretty it sure. looks like it. Yeah, pretty sure Introduced it was. Yeah. in 1976, the F-15 was meant to be an unbeatable air superiority fighter, and it delivered. Its record in combat of over 100 kills with no losses is unrivaled. The wow. Top Engine Eagle combines agility with speed, reaching Mach 2.5 at high altitude. It's equally capable of losing long-range AMRAAM missiles guided by its powerful AN-APG-63 radar or mixing it up in dogfights with short-range sidewinders. The F-15's potential for the ground attack was later exploited in the F-15E Strike Eagle variant. This uses the plane's size and power to haul an impressive load of precision bombs. The basic design has proven so strong that even 40 years on, the Eagle continues to be effective with the F-15 SE Silent Eagle Stealth variant and the F-15X Advanced Eagle threatening to undercut <laughs> the advantages so much. of more modern aircraft. It's like a little mosquito, but then it's like loaded up. Yeah. Wow. Three, Rockwell B-1 Lancer. Wow, that's what we saw at the beginning. Yeah. What is that? More commonly known as the Bone from B-1, the B-1 has battled through a storm of criticism and program cancellations to become a key element of the U.S. Air Force's strategic bomber force. Conceived in 1970 as a Mach 2 high-altitude nuclear bomber to replace the B-58 Hustler and B-52, the B-1 was canceled in 1977, but resurrected in the 80s due to delays in the more advanced B-2 Spirit. The new version was optimized for low-level, under-the-radar incursions at subsonic speeds. The B-1 has a combat radius wow. of 3,000 miles without refueling and carries a phenomenal 125,000 pounds of bombs, the most of any bomber. After the START agreement of 1995, the B-1's nuclear capability was removed and it was retasked as a purely conventional bomber. Equipped with this sniper targeting pod, the B-1 was able to carry out precision strikes in Iraq and more recently it acted as an aerial cruise missile carrier in strikes against Syria. Now, the AGM 158C long range anti ship missile could give the B 1 a new maritime Whoa. strike role, sinking vessels wow. from outside the range oh. of air defense. Good night. Oh, that's brutal. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Like real footage. Yeah, I wonder if that was a training or real. C 130 Hercules. Oh, wow. Oh, the Hercules. Yeah. Don't we have one? Uh, I think we used to. Yeah, just one. Yeah. Yeah. I know, I think we still do. I think we still have one. Herc ...is still the definitive rugged tactical transport. It is operated from unpaved runways in every theater of operation from Vietnam onwards. The AC-130 gunship version, a.k.a. Spooky, mounts an <laughs> array of weapons, including a 105mm howitzer, oh the biggest gun on any modern aircraft, as well as rapid-firing 40mm and 25mm cannons. Wow. In 2017, the C-130 took on an unlikely new role, dropping the outsized MOAB, Massive Ordnance Air Blast, or Mother of All Bombs, the largest bomb ever used in action on an ISIS tunnel complex in Afghanistan. Wow. It may be an wow. old plane, but the C-130 is still full of surprises. Yeah, we still have one. It's a big boy. Yeah, I've seen it. Mm. Yeah. Wow. One. Fairchild oh, Republic yes. A-10 Thunderbolt 2. That thing in the front. Yeah. Better known as the Warthog for its looks, the A-10 is a slow, low-tech aircraft weighed down by armor plate and armed with a giant gun. It looks more steampunk than 21st century. <laughs> but the A-10 is a battle-proven veteran that's won the hearts of the foot soldiers it supports, if not Air Force generals who have repeatedly tried to retire it. The A-10 was introduced in 1977 
as a straightforward tank buster to prevent massed Soviet armored divisions from overrunning Europe. Fun. Mm. It would survive yeah. by staying low, executing brief pop-up attacks, and with built-in protection, including a titanium bathtub that encloses the pilot, proof against 23-millimeter anti-aircraft cannon fire. Wow, For man. armament, in addition to a respectable bomb load, the A-10 has the mighty 30-millimeter GAU-8 Avenger, a seven-barrel Gatling gun firing 70 armor-piercing rounds a second. The cannon takes up one-sixth of the A-10's weight. Credited oh, with destroying goodness. 987 Iraqi tanks in the 1991 Gulf War and doing more damage to Iraqi ground forces than all other Allied aircraft combined. The A-10 has since been upgraded to deliver smart bombs and remains the close support aircraft par excellence. Such an iconic plane. Mm. Wow. Imagine your job was loading up all the bombs. All the bombs. Yeah. No, because I think they, they obviously they have safety procedures where they're completely disarmed and then yep. only the pilot can arm them. So it's all okay. electronically locked. Oh, like, okay. I think even if you dropped them, like nothing it's could like, happen. Sorry, I dropped one. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> We're no longer here. <laughs> yeah. It's over. <laughs> no, but there's some pretty insane stuff. Like the F 15 Eagle has never been shot down. I know, that's but insane. But over 100 kills. Wow. 100 victories. That is yeah. amazing. That's insane. I wonder if there's any planes out there that we don't know about. Yeah, exactly. Well, I was I was shocked to see that, like, for instance, the, the F-22 Raptor, that came into service in 2005. Yeah. I mean, yeah, did you remember what phones looked like in 2005? I know, they're like, I know. Almost still like bricks. Yeah, And then you had one. Yeah, and then they're like <laughs> flying around in those things. I know. In 2005. Yeah, I mean, yeah. there's got to be new stuff coming. Oh, there's always stuff that we don't know about. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder if there'll be just be like spaceships next and stuff. Wonder if they're just like completely invisible. No one knows they're there. And yeah, you just true. hover like down really low. Yeah. Or like unmanned drones. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway guys, if you enjoyed that one, make sure you smash the like button. And if you want to know any info about us, make sure you go and check out all the uh stuff down in the description box below. There's all sorts of links there. And we love you guys and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.